Hello YouTube and welcome to my Let's Play of Superpower 2. I've noticed that not many people like to make videos of this game and they just recently re-released it on Steam. And I just kind of wanted to get some publicity for this game out there because it's such a good game. And I'm going to be taking a bit more of an unconventional approach and not play some of the countries that most people like to play but um we'll play as India now as you can see this is kind of a grand strategy game you got the world and a bunch of countries and it's kind of complicated because if your economy, like what I am right now, is I am $99 billion in debt. And I am currently losing $177 million. Because my expenses are more than my income. Now, my inflation rate is 5.4%, which is much too high for a nice balance. So I'm going to set my inflation to about 8% and my personal income tax to about 45% to start raising funds for the government and my population is getting restless because of the big increase in taxes now what I'm about to do is go in here and change all the sector taxes for each one of these but um, it takes much too long, so I am going to pause it here and come back when I'm done. Alright, I'm back, and I finished changing all the taxes to each one of these sectors. I changed all the sector taxes to 100% because it makes a lot of money. Now, as you can see here, this is my military tab. I have... 700,000 troops. I'm ranked second in the world. I have the second largest infantry in the world. I have the 10th largest land division, 9th air, and 8th naval. Now right here is nuclear warfare. Now I don't have any nukes right now, but doing that would probably cause me to go to war with everyone around me, which I'm not going to do, at least not yet. And over here is the politics. Right now I'm a multi-party democracy. I have the game paused. That's why it's not going anywhere. My approval rating is 29.3%. Now I can change that simply by changing some laws and permitting certain things like abortion or same-sex marriage. See how my approval rating just jumped? My stability is quite high, which is really good, but my corruption is quite high as well. Now how I get rid of that, as I go into my... Oh, wrong tab. I go into my budget and change government to max and foreign aid up so I get more people to like me. And research I kind of want high because I want to have good quality troops and tourism doesn't even matter. Not yet at least. So let's let the game progress. And let's spread out my troops a bit better. Okay. Um, now as the game goes on, after what I've done, look at that I am now making over a trillion dollars because of those tax modify the tax changes I just made and I am slowly digging my way out of a 56 billion dollar debt now this dropped I think I don't remember <laughs> but it should go back up now this I could build nuclear weapons which I'm going to, <laughs> just in case. 
And over here, my approval rating is now going way up, and my corruption's going way down. And China, I think, might... I might try to make China my friend and go into a common market with China. Oh, they don't like me. What about Nepal? Nope, they don't like me either. Well, in that case, I might as well just, you know, go to war with Nepal. I don't have any allies. I don't care if I piss people off. I'm just going to send my military in there. We can watch the battle unfold. Now it's quite obvious I'm going to win. But... But we can also just sit here and watch it up here, too. And this is my notification, just telling me I gained control over a region and got denied. Now, I might be making, like, a let's... not a let's play, like a multiplayer video. Like, uh... Right there, I just annexed it. It's gonna take six months for it to go through and that for to be that to be officially part of India. Now, um, I might be making multiplayer videos of this, which will probably be roleplay servers since I don't actually know any other real servers and I don't really have any friends to play this with because a lot of my friends don't like games like these. Now while this happens, I'm going to do a military build-up. I didn't know India had tanks. Oh god. India uses Russian airplanes. Um, I'm definitely not making 50 destroyers. We'll do like 25 destroyers. Because those are expensive as all hell. And let's build up some more. These guys, let's make uh, 250,000. Now, this will take a little while to go into effect because... I mean, it takes a while to train people. And it shows me at war with Nepal right now because I have not annexed them yet. And we can look at my diplomatic relations with the rest of the world. <laughs> As you can see, everyone around me hates me. So, uh, let's just kind of hope me annexing Nepal doesn't, uh, cause me to go down that quickly. Now, this is another thing. This is the nuclear strength, and Russia has more nukes than America, which is scary. And China is about in the middle, and Pakistan, which I thought was a surprise when I learned about this, is actually a nuclear power, which scared the shit out of me when I found out. Now what I'm hoping to do is let's deploy our nukes so we become a nuclear power. Now, if you look at our nuclear strength, we are now on there. We are purple. We are we have less nukes than China, but more nukes than Pakistan. So if we ever go to war with Pakistan, we'll be safe. And earlier today, I played as America and took o tried to take over all of South America without doing anything, just grabbing the military and going. It was hard. <laughs> Because, well, everyone joined in. I ended up at war with the UK. So what I ended up doing was just uh, nuking everything. I nuked China. I nuked, well, what I first did was nuked every nuclear power. And then continued to nuke anyone else who went to war with me. But let's change this back. And if you didn't notice, Nepal is now part of my country. Now, as my corruption goes down, my approval rate goes up, and my stability... Is my stability dropping? Hold on, I'm just going to stare at this. Yeah, my stability is dropping. What's causing that? Uh, 
Um, oh, I'm losing money. Oh, because I'm building a military. Oh, that makes sense. Um, I what I did in a multiplayer game was I played as Ukraine, and I'm still not experienced with this game that well. And I played as them uh, after the AI straightened out their economic ordeal. And I played as them, and uh, their economy was amazing. Like, right now, their economy was better than mine at that time. Like, I was able to not have anything in the red. Uh, propaganda was in the red, because I don't like propaganda. There's no point in it, really. Unless your government really sucks. In that case, you might want to have some propaganda. But, um, otherwise I had healthcare up, tele or education up, government up, financial aid up, research up, and everything else kind of stayed there, because I didn't need it. And my stuff went up. Now, inflation is now way down. It's supposed to be, like, the happy medium is about 3%. So let's do 0% inflation. And maybe let's let the people breathe and lower our income tax to about 40%. Now, what I hope to do, eventually, is take on Pakistan. That's what I hope to do. But, uh, that might, that might take a minute to do. But, um, China is probably going to want to go to war with me relatively soon. Because they are pissed at me. And I don't have any allies whatsoever. Now what I could do to combat this is... Raise my foreign aid. Which will get other countries to like me more. And... That will help me get allies, and if China does attack me, maybe, you know, I could get allied with Britain or France or maybe even America, and they could help me with that. But otherwise, I think they have the biggest infantry in the world. Yeah, they, they outnumber me big time here. But, um, yeah, I think that's a, this is a good a place as any to stop this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you tune in for more Superpower 2. And if I do start a multiplayer game, I hope you enjoy that too if I put it up. All right. Have a nice day.